Hello, welcome to the first in this painting and hobby uh, section of videos that I wanted to cover. So, I'm not going to profess to be an expert by any means. I'm just someone that uh, can be asked to uh, maybe make some videos to say a couple of things that uh, I've learned myself. Really. Today we're going to be talking about a particular painting technique that I use that I call anchoring, right? And it goes very, very simply down, to, literally down to how you hold the model and how you position your hand with the brush. It's, you know, the most fundamentals here. I mean, well, I have a model here so I can give example. Here's a little dark angel, still mid-painting. Some people, you know, they paint and they're all like leaned over like this. And, and then they got obviously synthetic light sources like I've got here and it's... It's horrible and gloomy. It's really bad to paint it for me. So I tend, I have a tendency because I've got the naked light bulb right above me here, and then I have a tendency to sometimes like lean off. That's a really intricate bit, just because the shadows sway back over away from, and I can see the thing a lot more clearer. Now, one of the big solutions, obviously, is a um, a day bulb. I've never tried it. Have you tried it? They're um, Light, sort of light blue in colour and they're supposed to give you like a natural daylight colour when you uh, stick the bulb in. It would be quite nice. I, I might actually be tempted to take that one out and like stick that in when I'm going to paint and then you know screw that back in when I'm done. That obviously could be a factor into your hunched up position and all this. But So I used to paint like that and I used to get terrible backache from painting and hence not want to paint because if you're not comfortable you're not going to do it. You know, lean back in my chair now, I've got my palette handy on the table in front of me, yeah, and literally I've got the thing, thing up with me here. Now, some of you, I'll notice, you will paint, and you will just literally, you'll go like this, you know, and, and, and you know, props to you guys, because you've got a very, very steady hand, steadier than I have. And I'm I'm going to make a mistake, and there's going to be a lot of strain going on here, trying to maintain that focus. I anchor either with my little finger like this, so I'll anchor it against the base, which just gives me another platform of stability. And then you can see, because I'm anchored, I can control, and then I can put my other finger over on my thumb as well, just so that I get an extra... Um, layer of stability like that. All right, elbow on table, um, other elbow on, on um, arm rest, try and get into the light, sometimes then combining it with that lean into the light while keeping the anchored position, and you know, just running it, running it in like that. Or sometimes, if it's at the feet I want to get at, and I don't, and I, I can't anchor the base, you know, I'll, um, I'll anchor the model, but if, if the head is wet, so I'm holding it like the backpack here and I can't touch the head to where I need to anchor. I might anchor my own thumb. I've done this before. I've pulled these sort of manoeuvres. I'll just anchor anything I can um, get a hold of really. But yeah, I've done it before. I've, I've anchored my little finger against my thumb like that. And then, you know, another one is to stabilise the little finger and rest it on the thumb like that. Yeah, because that way, then, while it's resting, I can lean the brush down onto the mini I'm painting and get that directive control with less shaky hand uh, going on. You know, when I have to move, I just move along the thumb. I move it along the thumb and I turn the mini as I need it, you know. I turn where I need it and I just move back and forth like a, like a machine. Yeah, and then the mini turns and gives me di different sort of access to different points the way I need them. So, anyway, that's anchoring. That's for me. This is what I do. However, it does start to cause wear and tear in its own way. So remember, stretch in before you paint. Stretch during painting. If it starts hurting, rest, stretch. Do something else for a moment. If you've got some basings that need sticking, something else that's using your muscles differently and then coming back. If you find painting challenging and you want to find a way of bringing it back up to your face, 
but keeping it stable so you're not all rocking. Try anchoring. Let me know how it got on.